Hello and happy Wednesday. I hope everyone is having a great week so far. So if you've been following with me the last couple weeks, you know that I've picked up a new hobby because I've run out of things to do. And this hobby is crafting. Um, I am not a crafty person. So I am trying a lot of new things. Um, this week I am doing a craft called a yarn balloon. Now, what a yarn balloon is for, I don't know. Some people make lanterns out of them. I think it's just for decoration. Um, but here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. And um, so I started doing this yesterday because it needs a 24 hour dry period. So you can see my attempting result right now. But first, let me tell you what you would need if you are interested in doing a yarn balloon. First, you will need glue, um, a bowl that you can throw away, water, which I don't have around here, some yarn, a balloon, and um, a knife or a spoon that you can use to like mix the, the glue in the water. So the steps uh, that you're gonna do is you're gonna put glue and water into a bowl and you're gonna mix them and you're gonna have the, the glue and the water get a little liquidy. No one gave me any instructions on how much glue to water ratio. Um, so I hope it's not too runny. I just dumped all my glue in and then I just started pouring water. In hindsight, I probably should have just added water slowly, but I feel like this is right, the right consistency. Like and then you're gonna just put the yarn in there and mix it around. And then your third step is you are just going to take the yarn and wrap it around the balloon. Um, I thought this was gonna be a very difficult step. I thought the yarn was gonna get tangled in the glue, but really it didn't. The harder part was actually just getting the, the yarn to stay on the balloon and not fall off. And the excess glue I had, I had a lot of extra glue on my yarn. Then final step is to wait 24 hours. And so I have about five more hours, six more hours until my balloon is dry and ready. And then I will pop the balloon out and take it out of the yarn. So I'll show you guys what that looks like when we get there. I'm kind of nervous. In about 24 hours, uh, maybe a little longer, um, maybe closer to 36 hours, and my balloon has dried. Um, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, like it's, it's really, really dried. So I'm about to pop it and we'll see, we'll see what happens. There's so much glue. I'm The balloon is stuck in there. One second. Okay. So this is my balloon yarn ball. Um, I am surprised it actually held together. So this is, this is a plus. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have made a smaller balloon and wrapped it. Um, you needed a lot of yarn and I had more yarn, but you also needed a lot of glue. So if I made it smaller, I think I could have gotten the pieces closer together, but it would have also made getting the balloon out a lot harder. So what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> I don't know. Crafting is a very interesting thing. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you guys uh, make a yarn balloon craft, 
make sure to take a picture of the the outcome and and post it in comments below bye